minimally invasive capturing of fluids, whether it's blood, saliva, urine, we believe have an important role to play in the development of our understanding of disease, but also our tracking of disease. Liquid biopsies are an incredibly important part of the future. They're here today, and they're a significant component of the research at TGen and the City of Hope going forward. What we've known over the last several decades, there is DNA floating around in blood samples and body fluid samples like urine and saliva. And then over the last 10 or 20 years, we've started to discover that in cancer patients, a fraction of that DNA will carry the same mutations that are found in a tumor biopsy. The next generation of precision medicine will actually uh, come out of liquid biopsies. If precision medicine today relies on tumor biopsies to identify the best drugs we can give to patients. Precision medicine, five or 10 years from now, will rely on blood biopsies or liquid biopsies where we take blood samples and see not only what drug we can give a given patient, but how is their tumor changing over time and how, how should we adapt our treatment. The early adoption into the clinical space for liquid biopsies is particularly for following patients to determine early success of a new treatment, but also to look at recurrence of disease in high-risk populations. Both of those are underway today at TGen. Studies, for example, in the subtype of breast cancer patients that might be at elevated risk for recurrence. Studies for patients on investigational agents to see whether or not there's an early effect in the reduction of disease. And finally, the third area that's important is in the post-surgical setting to determine where there's remaining evidence of disease it appears that circulating tumor DNA may be an important component for understanding patients at elevated risk of recurrence. The clinician can order such a test today. There's still a lot that we need to learn about how we interpret the results and that's what we're working on right now. I think there's also a lot of potential uh, not just to look for uh, what the right drug is uh, at any given moment, but then also to see whether a patient's doing uh, well on a drug or is responding to a treatment or not, or whether a cancer is coming back uh, after a patient's already had surgery. So there's a variety of applications you can use liquid biopsies for in cancer patients. Every question we ask in the lab, every technology we try to develop in the lab, what we really want is to tie it to a clinical question, a clinical need, and therefore impact a patient in the end. The excitement of working with the City of Hope is bringing this information directly into the care stream, directly into the practice of medicine, and into the hands of physicians today uh, that can really begin to utilize this information for the benefit of the patient sitting in front of us.